David, put it in drop. Yeah, Come yeah. on, David. Welcome to the circus. The annual pipe rider migration has occurred. We're here in brisk and fresh Colorado, getting ready to ski the Copper Mountain half pipe. All the aliens are here. It's uh, it's gonna be a good time. I landed my second run uh, at about this level. Got my rep, my dub 12 good. The rest of my run solid. Not my best qualifier run ever. But the judges rewarded me with fifth place, which is the bubble spot. Not just a fi potential final score, but on the bubble. Know, right there. A lot of good guys left to go, so I'm just kind of sitting here. A little stressed, but even, either way, I'm happy to have landed. I'll run today after the struggles I was having. I know you're dying to know how glamorous our lifestyle is when we are not competing. <laughs> this is how it goes. So this, check this out. I mean... Yeah. There's three grown men sitting at their computers. Living on pro Clint's, bars, Clint's in there. Clint's in and, there and running his caribou, other business. And caribou sausage. And I'm working on my jeans. At least he's got some caribou sausage to keep him, keep him going. Andy and I are about to look at yesterday's video and see how we can turn a 10th place finish into something... Something more. Slightly higher in the field than that. Yeah. Out of all the drop-ins, even though this one looks weird, it was the fastest yeah. of the day. Feet out. I'll give you 12, which is kind of the floor for Swift Right Dub. But <laughs> maybe not the floor. But 10's the floor, but 12 is the good just floor. over the floor. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to see how far you travel in that, too. I just gotta ski this pipe different. I have to remember going in. It's like yeah. angle change there. So there's not gonna be a ton of training before finals, and obviously we don't have training today. Do you think it's worth it? to do more singles runs um, and think more about those lines. I would say that that is probably, I don't know man. I hate to say it, but I mean, it's like one of the days where I'm gonna have to really buckle down and do both. Yeah. Work on the tricks and work on the angles simultaneously because I just don't have enough mileage yeah. with those dubs. Yeah, it's like I always I always land a little on edge or a little sideways on that yeah. right dub twelve. Like I gotta get yeah. a, get a couple of them so that by the contest okay. I'm gonna stomp it. You know. So how about on just left dub twelve? It's like do one, like do yeah. one that you. I like, agree with that. Yeah, and then and just in and out of that. Big old nines. Yeah, because my dub twelve is always way better when I'm doing just like the biggest nine possible. You know. Yeah, I agree. You don't get to just have contest skis and backup skis. You have to have contest skis, backup skis, backup backup skis, and backup 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 skis. We're all set. Game day here, Copper Mountain. First game day of the year. And uh, we've had two days of practice, neither of which went very well for me. So, yeah, it's gonna be interesting, but luckily I have some some long-standing experience, not only here in copper, but just in half pipe skiing in general. So uh, I'm just gonna try to fall back on what I know that I can do and uh, see if I can put a couple top to bottom runs together. Definitely not expecting to set any new precedents in half pipe skiing, but just surviving a couple runs and having some fun out there is my goal. Stay tuned. <laughs> Four times, eight, 
this is my goal. Let's hear it for David Wise. That was fun. up that puts up 10 there that he had issues on on the previous run. That right up for 1260. And it's close to the wall there. <laughs> Smiles on his face up in a comic gear. Hey Nilly Bug, hey Malachi, hey Alexandra. Get that footage book. Love you guys. Yep, I landed on my side. They saw it. Okay. Fair. Okay. Okay.